Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It feels like it's been so long since I've done a proper sit down video because a lot of the videos that I've been doing recently have been vlogs, I guess like travel trips as well. So it's actually really nice to finally be able to sit down and film some videos for you guys. I'm actually going to be going away for I think about like two weeks. This coming week I'm going to be going away to Montreal for about like four days and then Peter and I are going to be going to LA for another like seven to ten days as well. So I'm trying to pre-film a couple videos so that I can have stuff up while we're gone that way you guys are not like left in the dark. Don't worry I'm taking care of you. I'm making sure you still have your content up. I know this video is coming in a little bit late just because the past week I've been so busy traveling back and forth to Ottawa doing a bunch of personal things that I wanted to kind of like slow down a little bit and take my time and just relax but I'm here back today filming a video for you guys and I'm gonna film a couple more after this so let's just jump right into today's video it's going to be another designer handbag review so you guys probably can already tell by the handle but today I'm going to be reviewing the Louis Vuitton pochette to toiletry pochette 26 I'm saying it right but this is the bag so there is also another small little story that goes along with this bag similar to all the other bags that I own they all have stories so about two years ago Mel and I went to Paris and when we went on our very first time we managed to find this bag in stores this is a very coveted bag that is frequently sold out around the world it's always on wait lists so the rule of thumb is if you see the bag, snag it. Or you can always get it online, vintage, consignment, that sort of thing. But the price for consignment is almost on par with getting the bag brand new. So I would say if you can get it brand new, then get it. If you also like vintage, then go ahead and get it. I have been wanting to get it brand new just because I've seen old versions of this bag and the material inside gets a little bit sticky. So I want to get the new one for myself to try out. I have not bought an LV piece in, God, like five or six years. I think to date this is only my second LV purchase that I have. The very first one would have been the Neverfull that you guys have probably already seen in a previous bag review and ever since then because I just like didn't love that bag I've kind of fallen out of love with LV but Mel my best friend loves 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 LV so her collection is kind of like reinvigorating my love for the brand and I've recently been trying out a bunch of different styles and lo and behold I have a couple of them on my current shopping bucket list, I guess that's what you would say, like my shopping wish list when it comes to LV, and this being one of them. So when I saw this bag on my recent trip to Paris two years ago with Mel, I was floored that they had it available, just because it's never available anywhere else. And unfortunately, it was my first time ever to Paris, and at the time, I was madly head over heels in love with Chanel, still am, and I really want to get a bag from Chanel to commemorate my very first trip there. So I actually went and got my Chanel Gabriel backpack, you guys probably saw that one as well love that bag but you know it still also gives me headaches so I did not end up getting this one I put myself on a little bit of a budget and told myself not to overspend and since it was my first trip to Paris knowing that I probably would wind up back there again and lo and behold like four months later I did it with Mel once again did not buy this bag but the reason I did not buy this bag on my second trip back to Paris was because they no longer had this available in stock so the thing with LV is that they never really always know when the bags are going to come in stock. When they get shipments in the morning, it's usually like a surprise. So you really got to show up there right at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock when they open and try to get your hands on a bag. I passed on this and it has been a nightmare for me ever since. Every time you traveled somewhere in Europe, whether it was in like Lisbon or Amsterdam or London, I could not get a hold of this bag and it was torture because I was kicking myself for not picking it up the first time knowing that I loved it so much, but I am very, very excited because I finally managed to get a hold of this bag for myself. So I recently got this bag on my trip to, I think it was in Stockholm that I picked this one up. We were taking photos out on the street and it was raining outside, so Mel and I decided to stop in and do some shopping to kill some time so that all the rain would finish before we could keep doing all of our stuff because you know can't take photos when it's raining so we walked into an LV just casually because it was already right there next to us anyways down the street and we were just looking and we were curious we're like what do you guys have available in stock Mel and I we have a nice little list of bags on our wish list that we would love to acquire so we just started listing off names of bags just to see if they had them available when I came to the toiletry pouch the SA was like let me go check because I think we may have just gotten one in this morning and lo and behold she did so a little after two years, I think like two, almost two and a half years, I was able to locate another bag all over again. And of course I snatched it up and it is now mine. So as the bag name says, this is a toiletry bag, which means I guess you're supposed to put toiletries into here, like your toothbrush, toothpaste, I don't know, toothpicks, 
face wash, that sort of thing. But the inside of this bag actually is leather or like coated canvas. And I really do not want to damage it. It's also stunning and I know that my toiletries always leak inside of my bag. So I actually do not use this as a toiletry pouch. I actually use this more as a purse. So we're going to go in and dive right into the review of this bag and let you know my thoughts on it. Whether or not it operates well as a purse. What I recommend it. And if I think you guys should get it for yourself. So jumping right into this. This is the LV Signature Monogram Toiletry Pochette 26. This, I believe, is one of the most coveted sizes since it's like a relatively large enough size you can put quite a bit of stuff in there. There are smaller ones, a little bit more square ones, and personally, I don't think that those ones are as functional just because it ends up looking like a coin pouch and you can't put that much in it. If you're actually using it as a toiletry bag, you want to be able to stuff it full of stuff. Seeing as I actually use this as more of like an evening clutch or just like a purse, I love this size. I thought it was perfect. It's good for me to fit in my chanel card holder like two or three lipsticks i can put it in my bus pass my keys my phone my headphones sometimes i've even thrown in some snacks in here just because it is so large as you guys notice the base isn't that big but the width is tall so we're going to discuss about size here for the very first aspect it can fit a lot if you're using this as a purse because though it's not that wide you're not going to be throwing things in here like i don't know a big sandwich, a water bottle, unless you have a flat water bottle that fits into this. I find that this is good for kind of like an everyday throw around, get around town type of bag because it fits all of my everyday necessities quite efficiently without me having to stretch or kind of deform this bag at all because the last thing I want to do is deform an expensive bag. So size wise, this is great for an everyday clutch. Moving on to the next aspect, which is going to be material. So because I knew that I wanted this to be like a very everyday clutch and the fact that there is no strap to this one, I knew that I would probably be putting this bag down quite a bit on surfaces. And because the width is not that wide, the bag probably will topple. That being said, I'm a-okay with this bag being canvas. It's kind of hard for me to sometimes to justify coated canvas having the price tags that are attached to them just because I'm like, it's canvas. Why are you paying that much for it besides the name of the brand and the logos that are all over it? So because it is canvas though, it is a lot more durable than other materials. If you're gonna have the bag fall over and it's gonna fall into a pool of water, it's not going to instantly stain the bag and you can wash it off since it kind of like pebbles off. Obviously, if you let anything sit on the bag for too long, it's gonna damage the material. But let's be real, canvas is pretty durable, which is why I love this one. So the only other material on this bike that is not coated canvas is the zip pull at the very end, and this comes in their classic Vachetta leather. I have not used this bag enough just quite yet to really make it like a nice, soft, patinaed, honey golden color, but I will. The goal is to get this nice and patinaed. It is a little bit darker than when I first bought it, so I have noticed it's patinaed a little bit already, but not that much. The hardware on the top is, it's like nice heavy brass material. I don't. This is definitely not watching K Gold. And it has a nice yellow gold zipper. Love the zipper because it's very, very smooth. And also, as I'm gonna use this and hold it to pull the zipper shut, it will start to patina over time. So primarily, love, love, love the material because it is super durable and great for my everyday use because I am a klutz in life. So the interior of the bag scares me a little bit. I think it's also coated canvas as well. I may be wrong. I'm not too, too sure, but Yep, knowing myself, I already have a couple stains in here, even though I've only really put my phone, wallet, and keys. Shout out to you if you guys get that Adam Sandler reference. So the inside is this beautiful, beautiful beige color, and because it is so light, it's definitely going to get stained. I don't think I'll be able to show you guys, but I have a stain right in here already. Let's just see if the light actually wants to catch this. And there's a stain at the very bottom interior along this side. So I'm definitely not gonna be putting toiletries in here just because I know it's gonna get a lot, lot, lot worse than the typical stuff I already have in here. I will not be throwing any pens in here. And I typically do have a pen in all of my purses so I can use it if I remember, oh, I had to write something down. If I do, it's gonna be going into a bag before it goes into this one because I want to cherish this one for a long, long, long time. I have seen people who've taken really good care of their LV bags and they last so long and they've been able to pass it down to generations after generations and that's what I want to be able to do with this bag so I'm going to be taking care of the interior and making sure it doesn't get too stained or too dirty. So material wise everything is pretty durable on the exterior except for the interior you may get it stained but besides that it's really easy to wipe off if it's just something that's light and not too dark. I just wouldn't recommend putting any sort of pens in here if you don't want to get marks inside the bag. So let's talk about the functionality of the bag. Obviously there is no strap to this and me being a very handsy girl, I love my crossbody bags because it allows me to be hands-free to touch, grab, hold, whatever I need to. This bag though, because there is no strap, I often have to hold it in my hand like this or underneath my 
armpit, I guess, like that. So because of that, I do have to be super cognizant of what I'm gonna be doing when I'm wearing this bag out. If I'm going to just a casual event with a brand and I'm just looking at things, great, I can bring this bag. But if I'm going shopping with friends, touching clothes, moving around, all it takes is for me to slip my bag up once and the bag has fallen out. So I would not necessarily recommend this if you are going to be very handsy throughout the day, but if you're just doing basic things like commuting into work and you're gonna leave this bag on your desk or you're going to a nice dinner date or you're just gonna grab drinks with friends, if there's somewhere for you to place this bag down on and you don't need to be moving around with your hands free all the time, then I highly, highly recommend this bag. Otherwise, I don't think this is great for like everyday errands if you're gonna have to move and utilize your hands quite a bit because this bag needs to be held somehow. I've looked at this bag to see if there's any way for me to fix some sort of chain to it and unfortunately there is not. Obviously you can try to fix a chain to the zipper pull here but I would not wanna damage this and put like a little strap on and then it'll just look kind of weird because it's way too big to be a wristlet. So I've avoided that and there's nothing on the tab on this side for you to affix a chain to either. So this is a very, very hands-on bag when I think about it now. So we're gonna move on to the next aspect and that's also kind of like the versatility and style of the bag. Like I already said, you can't use this bag if you're gonna be very, very handsy just because something has to hold the bag. But I think if you have an occasion where you can put the bag down on something, you can use it. So when it comes to versatility of like where you're gonna be wearing this bag, I can see this going to work because you can put it on your desk, go to date night with your significant other, drinks with girls, that sort of thing. I would not carry this bag out to do groceries unless you're comfortable putting your bag in the grocery cart, that could happen. I just wouldn't carry this bag if I'm running around doing errands, such as like mailing things off at the post office, picking things up, running to the gym, that sort of thing. So I can see this as like an everyday casual situation if you don't need to use your hands a lot, but other than that, it's not like, not your busy run of the mill bag for a busy, busy, busy girl. You have to have a place to put this down on. So I can see myself wearing this quite a bit just because I do have a lot of fancy events that I attend on behalf of what I do for work. But at the same time, if I'm just going back home to Ottawa and I'm going shopping with my family or grabbing coffee at McDonald's and just like chilling with my friends out, probably wouldn't bring this bag just because you know, like I had nowhere to put it. That being said though, I do think this bag is quite classy because of the monogram print on here. It gives a very like signature LV elegant look to it. So you can wear this out to like fancy dinner dates at night if you have somewhere to put it down. I feel like that was very redundant. I just went around in circles talking about the same thing about versatility and how to use a bag. But I think they do tie together hand in hand quite tightly. So that was important to note. And then moving on to the price of the bag. That's going to be the last aspect that we chat about today. So this bag is not too expensive in the realm of designer handbags, but compared to your average bag, it is quite pricey. I think this bag runs anywhere from about like five to $600 Canadian if you're gonna be buying it brand new in store here. And I think it runs a little bit closer to like 450, 500 Canadian once you convert it from euros or pounds wherever you buy it over in Europe. So it's a little bit cheaper if you do buy it in Europe. That being said, this bag is really, really hard to get a hold of. So I would also recommend putting your name on the wait list wherever you can. Obviously you're not gonna be able to put your name on a wait list in Europe because if you're just traveling there for vacation, you won't be there long enough to pick up the bag. But if you can't put your name on the wait list in North America or wherever you're home and then wait for this bag to come in, then you can definitely snag the bag up for whatever price is available. I think in this situation, because it is such a coveted bag, it's it's not a bag that you're gonna be able to really locate and really search for a cheap price for. You're just going to have to essentially buy the bag whatever you can for the price that it comes with, just because I've noticed that the price is across the board from whether it being new or vintage or consignment being relatively the same. So my recommendation, grab the bag when you can because you never know when you're gonna be able to find it again. Don't be like me and fall into the trap of waiting two and a half years before you can locate the bag again. So would I recommend this bag? You know what? It's gonna be really, really dependent on your lifestyle. If you're somebody who's always out and about and you're really busy, your hands on, gotta get your hands dirty and be able to use your hands all the time, then like maybe not so much. But if you do have that sort of lifestyle and you end up buying this bag, this bag probably will become more of an occasion bag for you than anything and you'll just be breaking it out for special occasions. That being said, if you do have a lifestyle where you don't need to have your hands available and free all the time, then this is a great bag to have. I know a lot of people actually do use this bag as a toiletries pouch and if you wanna use it for that purpose, then yeah, go for it as well. I would just highly recommend putting a plastic bag on the inside to kind of encase all of your toiletry products just so that they don't leak out and damage or stain the interior of the bag because that's the last thing you want when you're paying five to $600 
for a bag. I mean, that's not a lot compared to a Chanel bag, but it's still a lot for a little tiny bag like this. I can buy a huge backpack for like $75. My Herschel backpack that I travel everywhere with is 75 bucks. So this is quite the investment if you're going to be buying a small bag like this, which is why I recommend taking good care of it. So that is essentially it for my review of the LV Monogram Pochette Toiletry 26. I think I said that in the right order. Don't come at me if I didn't. I'm sorry guys, there's too many names to remember. In a nutshell, I like this bag. I think it's a really cute addition to my closet. I have nothing like it. I don't really have a clutch that I use since all of my bags happen to be either crossbody or backpacks. So I wanted something a little bit different and I started to fall in love with some of the classic pieces in LV once again. So this is my first little foray back into the world of LV. And I don't know, I like it. I think it's a great addition if you guys don't have anything small and simple and practical like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found this review to be relatively helpful to you guys. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. If you guys also have the bag, let me know how you use it. If you actually use it as a toiletry pouch or if you just use it as an everyday clutch like me because that's what I'm doing since I'm way too afraid to get this dirty. Otherwise, if you guys want to see more of me, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram here. Exact same handle. I post them there quite frequently, a lot more frequent than YouTube. So you can catch up with me daily there. I also just opened up Poshmark a few weeks ago and started listing things that I own to sell because I have received a couple requests from you guys as to where I sell my clothes if I do sell them online. So you guys can also check out my Poshmark. My username is this. I'll also include a link in the description bar down below if you want to click there directly. At the moment, I have a bunch of shoes available, but I'm going to try to start listing clothes soon. And I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!